Hello to everybody on YouTube. Now this morning, I woke up my first lay-in in a while. I've been so busy this week. Woke up on Saturday morning to find not one, but two packages outside my house. Outside the front door of my house. I just didn't realise that the postman had left it there. He didn't bother to knock. Which is very nice. But, um, well, seeing as I have two packages and I have no idea how many cars are in either of them, I thought it was a good time to have another die-cast review. A mystery die-cast review, shall I say. So, I've got the camera kind of loose here. So, let's get started. Let's open up the first package on the top here. It just says toy on there, so there is no indicator of how much is in the box. Let's just open up the box and let's see what's inside. You know the format for the mystery diecast review. I will literally review whatever is inside this box. We just have to hope it's a diecast, I assume it is. And. It is the diecast I have been waiting for so long, and I'm very hyped to review this one. Just grab the camera. There it is. Mark Martin's 2009 number five Kellogg's CarQuest Chevrolet. And the Action Kid series car I have is the CarQuest Kellogg's Chevrolet with the CarQuest logo on the hood. I honestly prefer this model a bit more, and this is the one I've been waiting for. The last two reviews I've done are for cars that I've ordered after this one and I actually messaged the seller on eBay saying um, where is it mate <laughs> and to be fair to the guy he, he, he just had to say to me um, sorry about that ladies and gentlemen um, just had an interference from my mum asking for washing up <clears throat> anyway yeah the guy basically said uh, I've sent it out it's nothing to do with my end sorry you know message me back he, he was actually he actually sounded like he felt really bad about it but um, I said to him no it's, it's not your fault then it's just sometimes deliveries from the States can take a while. But I think it has been worth the wait. Now, let's put the camera down and let's whip it out of the box. If I'm honest, on balance, this is probably my favourite paint scheme of the whole of the 2009 season. I mean, I did like AJ Allmendinger's Valvoline retro scheme. You can see there. There it is in all its glory then. This is the Action Hood opening series, obviously, so you get lovely quality on it as well. And there's the front section. You see on this model, I don't think the hood... Sorry. The hood quite closes accurately. It's only a minor detail, though. You can see there, CarQuest with a nice red and blue pattern on the side. CarQuest Pop-Tarts on the rear. And there you go. If you can just see there the details of the window netting. And just hood open, come on, there we go, and there it is under the hood, again usual stuff you'd expect from the action hood opening series, nice engine detail, and one thing I have noticed is that the, sorry, is that the, <clears throat> the lights have a slightly different shape, they've printed it quite well, there's none of the normal kind of kids series errors here and the lights are, to me seem like they're a slightly different shape. I don't know if that's just a minor detail to me, but um, basically, there's not much to say on this car except that I really, really like it and it has been worth the wait. So there's that one there. That was what was in this box. I don't think there's anything else in this box. No, there isn't. Just a lot of polystyrene. Now, what's in this one? Now, this says one die cast car. So, I made a few individual orders, so we'll see what this one is. Open it up. I'm going to need a package, so I'll give you that. Hard to get into. And so far, all I can find in this box is a load of, is, uh, well, a plastic bag. And, ah, that's the one. Right. And here's the other car for today's review. This morning's review, rather. Kurt Busch's 2007 Miller Lite Dodge. And I think this is the Avenger. Yeah, you can see it there. This has to be a 2007 car because I simply can't find any 2009 cars. Well, I can find 2009 cars, but they've all got the generic Kurt logo on there. And I like to keep it proper have the actual name of the beverage on the car rather than a generic logo so I've had to go back to 2007 
and you can tell it's 2007 because it's marked clearly C.O.T. That was back in the days when the car of tomorrow was the new kind of wow thing. And as you can see, already from there, even though it's two years old, it doesn't really look much different to the car of today. The blue deuce hasn't changed much. And seeing as this is an alcohol car, so I'll just whip it out of the box. Seeing as this is an alcohol car, I expect this to have the funny base on it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there it is. The dodgy base on it. I've had a couple of suggestions from you guys how to how to sort that out. To be honest, on the last one, I think I just busted it up. I just cracked it all up and then kind of spun it off that way. Anyway, there's the car then. And it looks very nice. The Blue Deuce has always looked very nice. Back when Rusty Wallace was driving it in the two. And again, for some reason, there's a problem with the hood. Whether that's just the thing it was screwed to, I don't know. The hood doesn't quite shut properly on this one. Maybe that's just... Maybe if I just keep pushing it... Yeah, that... There you go, that's better. This must be one of those things, car by car. As you can see, it is the Avenger, and because it's 2007, it does say Avenger, rather than the 2008 cars where it's the Avenger grill, but they're like, no, 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 it is a Charger, honest. And you sit there like, mm, no, it's not, mate. So there it is, the Miller Lite car, no generic logos on this one. whoop de doo Miller Lite, Jasper, Snap-on, new pet. Sorry, new page, and the light, good call. Yeah, another very nice car. There isn't much I can really say about both of these cars. I like the look of them when I saw them on eBay. I've been waiting quite expectantly for them. Also, an interesting thing I must note, the blue rims that match the colour of the car. I do like it when teams do that. I can't remember which team it was. I think um, the Red Bull guys have red rear wheels, and Michael Waltrip or David Rudman have silver wheels. And that's quite nice when that happens when people do that rather. So there you go, latest mystery diecast review complete and these are the two cars, these will both be going straight into my shootout and I should start work on the track this weekend. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you soon for another diecast review. Take care, and goodbye.